so hello guys and welcome back to another tutorial and today we will be creating this crunch halftone effect inside after effects this effect is inspired from taiga music latest music video my turn so i have opened up my after effects and this is the clip that i will be using for this effect so the first step that we will be doing is we will create a new solid layer and let's name it cc ball and as the name suggests we will drag and drop our cc ball action onto our solid layer and let's change our ball size to around 40 and we will keep the grid spacing to around let's say 3 to 4 will look good and then we will change the blending mode of our solid cc ball layer to overlay Let's lock this layer. Now let's create a new adjustment layer and then we'll drag it below the CC ball. Make sure to keep the CC ball layer always on the top. So the first effect that we'll be adding on our adjustment layer is Triton effect. And we'll change the color. I'm going with my own preference right now. You can choose your own color you want for the footage. And then since this clip is divided in three different parts, so I will make a cut for each part and change the color accordingly. You can change this color anytime you want. Okay, so after this we will create another adjustment layer and drag it below and above the main clip. We created another adjustment layer for this because we will be adding a noise effect on this. And let's keep the value to around 40 to 50. And we will change the blending mode to vivid light. And also let's decrease the opacity of our Triton adjustment layer. Okay, after adjusting the opacity of our adjustment layer of the tritone, now we will add a effect posterize time to our main clip. Let's keep the frame rate to around 8 to give that stutter movement. And then I will add a curve effect and then tweak its settings till it looks good. Now in the music video you will see that there are shapes which is moving in the video. So let's go to our pen tool and we will create a rough rectangle shape. And let's move a few frames forward and then again we will change the shape of it and then we will repeat this process by moving a few frames forward and also for this we will turn off our fill layer and we will keep the stroke on and once you are done select all the shape layer and change its blending mode to difference also you can adjust the stroke with any time Okay, in the middle part, I don't think so I will be needing this effect, so I will just delete it and move on with the third clip. And then for this, I will activate my fill layer and change its color. And then I will copy it and place it in a different position. Now for both this layer, shape layer, we will repeat this process again. By adjusting the shape, by moving few frames forward and then adjusting the shape of it.
and for the second shape plate that we have i will just change the scale and the position of this you can give any variations you want also i think i need to change color of my clip triton effect so i will change it okay let's duplicate the shape plate that we created for our first clip and reposition it because i want it on the both side now i have an overlay hand drawn overlay which i will drag and drop it you can find this overlay available on internet let's add an invert effect and then i will change its blending mode to difference i will trim down this image because i don't want it to be played throughout the video Also let's copy this image and then place it in the middle since the middle one is looking very blank right now so we need to add some elements to it Okay so now your grunge half tone effect is ready I hope you guys like this tutorial make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more content